Hey guys, welcome back to Ticket. So, now we have our quarry set up, although I removed it. Um, you just want to have a way of sorting all the items that are coming out of that. And the best way to do that is with red power. Yes, you can do it in industrial craft, but it's not as, um, as nice. You can't control it as much. So, before we start on that, we need to get some power. And the power source that red power uses is called blue electric. And the best way to get that is with some solar panels. Now, need not these solar panels, but red power solar panels. Now, what you need for those is you, you have to start with an alloy furnace and put some coal and some sand into a um, and the yellow furnace, and that makes you some silicon buels, and you don't need much of that. Now, what you also need is this diamond handsaw here. Now, you make that very easily by three sticks at the top, and then diamonds at the bottom and some iron that makes you a diamond handsaw so very easy and that lasts forever you don't you know that <laughs> you can use that for hours and hours and hours so when you have that you, you get those silicon buels that we just took out of the furnace and you make silicon wafers out of that and as you can see you make loads of it so you really don't need many of these um, buell thingies so once you have that we need to make those into blue silicon wafers so you just put it in the alloy furnace with some nickelite and there you go. So I've got 16 already, the blue dot wafers, but you know, just for your information, there it is, blue dot wafers. Cool. Now you need eight of those per solar panel. Apart from that, you're going to need one blue alloy ingot, which is just some silver and some nickelite. So very easy. And that makes you one blue alloy ingot and you only need one of those per solar panel. So now we can make the solar panels. Easy. So let's make two. Oh. So it's just blue yellow ingot in the middle and then the blue dot wafers on the sides. Oh, there we go. Two solar panels. So they're, they're pretty cheap to make. Now, then you can just put these down. Um, I'll put it here. Now, the cool thing to note about these is that they will transmit power to each other. So unlike industrial craft where you have to hook every single power cell up with a wire, you don't have to here. So if I put a wire here, it'll get power from both solar panels. Cool. Now, apart from that, we're going to need the wires itself. And we already had a look at these called the red alloy wires. But now we want to have the blue alloy wires. Oh, these. So you need some wool and some ingots. So let's get some wool. It doesn't matter what color, you, you can use anything you want. So that's handy. So we'll just get some normal wool and then we can, do I have some? Yeah, that should be enough for now. Toot, toot, toot. And you get 12 for each one you make. So it's pretty, pretty efficient. And done. All good. Those two are now connected. So, the cool thing about these wires, same as the red alloy wires, is you can just sort of connect them all over a block, <laughs> which is pretty handy. And of course, the same way as we have industrial craft, where we can, if we wanted to, hook a solar panel up straight to a machine. But we always want to have something like an MFSU or a battery box or, you know. So, we can make the same thing here. So, let's have a look at how we do that. And there's only one of them, there's not multiple levels of that, so... So there we have it, the battery box, which we need another blue alloy ingot, some iron, and a batteries, four batteries. And these are easy to make with some tin and copper, like that. So I'm not going to make this because it takes ages, well it doesn't take ages, but it's just too much crafting, but you can see it from here what you have to do. Um, four, of the ba four of these batteries, and then you just put them like that, wood here, iron around it, and then blue alloy ingot, and that makes you a battery box. Oh yeah. So once you have the battery box, just hook it up to the wire, and it's getting charged. And eventually this will fill up as well, and then it means you've got plenty of power. Um, and if you add more solar panels to it, which, do I have some more solar panels? Yeah. Because I'm in creative, so I can put as many as I want. So I'll just do this so it speeds it up a bit. You don't need that many. So this will slowly fill up and then this will start to fill up. And then anything you connect to this um, with the same wires, so these blue alloy wires, will get powered as well, even during the night, which is pretty awesome. 
so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. There's, there's not much going on um, with Red Power and Blue Electric. It's very easy to create. They're very cheap to make, and you really only need a couple of them to to have stuff running. Um, this, like the sorting machine, we'll have a look at in the next tutorial. You might need four panels to keep it running at all times. So it's actually quite easy, and you can see this is really cool. Um, this is the main charge, and you can see it's about well, 20 percent. You can see the uh, the blue here; it'll actually move up the more it's charged. So it's pretty awesome. Can we uh, can we show that? Can we can we add some? Oh, can we add some more solar panels? So yeah, with this, there's not multiple levels of solar panel. There's just this one solar panel, and it just works. There's no battery, uh, better battery box or anything. As you can see, it's slowly creeping up, which is pretty cool. You can see it from the outside. So yeah, that's the uh, the power tutorial. Uh, and next episode, we're gonna have a look at how to sort all your stuff. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.